All right, so I want to make a really quick video on this. So David Ryan, I'm not trying to be rude to you or anything, but there, but uh, if you actually ask an actual trucker that actually drives semis, like I'm not a trucker trucker, but I mean I drive a semi for like farm, but I mean, so the trucks with the uh, the trailers on them, like the cattle trailers they're actually insulated like a lot of them are insulated so then they'll keep the animals alive and actually giving the animals water isn't really doing anything for them because it's just falling through the cracks anyways and plus when they're in um, when they're all cramped up and they get water they turn very violent so and they fight over the water and it doesn't and besides it doesn't mean it's not really, it's just kind of retarded giving water because it doesn't even last that long. But I just want to let you know, David, that, that when they're in the uh, trailers, that they're perfectly fine. They're not actually in danger and actually the whole amazon rainforest stuff it, that isn't contributed to animal meat that's not contributed to that the contributed to that is whenever we want to inhabit an area or for example like whenever Thing, but like with veganism, veganism causes a lot of deforestation because it takes a lot, a hell of a lot more plants to feed people than than does meat. Now, yes, there are very few people that are actually super healthy that eat plants, but I'll tell you right now, this guy, vegan V, whatever he is, he looks very sickly, he looks very scrawny, and he looks very unhealthy. I've had friends that went vegan and they nearly died from it. And they should be at their peak fitness. They're, they should be at the best that their body can be at, at that moment. Even then, they, they still nearly die. And they aren't nearly as fit anymore as what they were when they ate meat. Now, I eat meat and I could literally... I'm going to say I could probably stay up for like... Mm, right around uh, 12 days straight if I really had to. Not 12 days straight, but if I really had to, I'd probably be able to stay up for 5 days straight. I've done that before. Like whenever we were trying to get, get some big fields done with, I drove a semi for about, I'm going to say 4 days straight. Not 5 days straight, but yeah, that was miserable. But I just wanted to teach you something about that. I just want to explain a whole lot about that, but yeah, see ya.